This is Shekhar here and I'm here to show you how you can handle data from an HTML form using PHP. So let's get started. But before starting, we should, I would like to wish everyone sitting there and watching this video a very happy new year. And to every Indian member watching this video, I just like to means, we just want to make a shiny ears. Don't forget to say that. It's January, it's February, it's all the Tohar. Don't forget to say that. Don't forget to say that. जनवरी गई फरवरी गए गए सारे त्यौहार नए साल की बेला पर झूम रहा संसार अब जिसका आपको था बेसब्री से इंतजार मंगलमय हो आपके लिए 2019 का यह साल सो इनफ ऑफ दिस एंड गेट स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू गो टू द लोकेशन वेयर द सर्वर इज लोकेटेड फॉर इन सर्व एंड इट इज इन साइड द सी फोल्ड सॉरी सी ड्राइव एंड आई जस्ट गो एड एंड क्लिक ऑन जाम एन एस टी डॉक्स And here I'll just create a new folder known as yt. Done. And then inside that I'll just go ahead and create a new text document and name it data dot htm. Yes. And then we'll have to create a new text document again for that process dot php. So I'll just go ahead and rename it as um process dot php yes so first of all we should go and create a html form or the registration form anything you would like to call it and i'll just go ahead and open with sublime text then let's create up the basic sorry the basic html structure and let's give it a type title of data sorry data ah uh, sorry data and in here I'll just go ahead and open up a form tab inside that I'll give it an action of process dot php and then a method of post so it will post the information which it gains from here to the process dot php so in here then I'll go ahead and create a label tag oh sorry a label tag and then give it name and then we'll create an input input field type would be text and name would be name <laughs> anything you would like to call it and then we'll create a submit button um sorry create a submit button type would be submit name would also be submit and value will also be equal to submit Sorry, it should be capital. Yes, submit. And then we'll just go ahead and save it. And then we should now go ahead and see what it's looking like. Then it's a very minimalistic HTML document that I've created, guys. You could create a very vast registration form like things using HTML. So now let's go ahead and open that process.php with sublime text. And then again, create an HTML format. And we'll give this uh, title of process and then body inside that body tag we'll just go ahead and write p sorry php yes um what had happened guys uh, php inside this we'll create a variable known as name or anything you would like to call it then you use that post function and it is dollar underscore post then square brackets uh, semicolon double quotes and the name you gave to that input field from where the HTML will gain that user's name so it's done and um, I would like to check its name yes its name you can see here its name so let's go ahead and pretty much we are all done we'll just write echo then We'll write hello um sorry uh, concatenation which is done with a dot and dollar name name and end it and here we should write something like h1 tag i'll give it congratulations your uh, sorry your account was sir 
fully created done save it and let's see if it's working or not so first of all we'll just open a new tab oh first you have to run that XAM server XAM control panel from here sorry I would like to start the Apache server Allow access. It started, guys. Now, from here, I'll go to any browser. I'm just using a Chrome browser. And from here, I'll type localhost, sorry, localhost. And after that, yt. So, in here, I'll just go to data.html. I'll type in my name, shaker, shaker, submit. So, it was successfully working. Now you can enhance it according to your choice so i'll just leave it up to here thank you for watching guys please subscribe to my channel like my video and share as much as you can thank you and again a happy new year to everyone watching this video thank you bye